Uh, let's now go back to the KUM News Zoom Room and bring on a slogan has been for many years, real mayor. Uh, <laughs> Talafovo Mayor Vicente Tidegui. Good morning, Mayor. Hi, Mayor. Good morning, Chris and Brianna. Yes, Chris and Brianna. COVID-19 is a bitch. Very <laughs> painful disease. I agree with the governor. <laughs> Not expecting yeah. that. Yeah, I wasn't thinking right. that was going to be your open. To talk about, oh, whoa, where do we go from here? Going right out of the gate. Yep, boom. Okay. Okay, so other than COVID 19 being a bitch. <laughs> Mayor, how come all these people want your job? Yeah, yeah. To start off, Chris, yes, COVID 19 is, like the governor said, it's a very painful disease. And good morning to you guys. And, uh, Iba Talafofo. <laughs> Iba Talafofo. Uh, All right, Mayor. So just tell me, we'll ask the first question. You ready, Mayor? Um, why uh, do you think so many people are running for uh, mayor in the village of uh, Talafofo? Do you think that it's uh, maybe there's something th with your performance there? So wh what's your take on that, Mayor? My performance in Talafofo is great, uh, Chris. Uh, the people of Talafofo won't let me go. Say, no, you're not going to place. We're going to keep you. Once you leave, who's going to help us? So I told them, no, look, keep, me, keep my, uh, my health good and uh, stay active and uh, take care of them people. They won't let me go, Chris. The problem is I spoil you them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we did hear, though, from Mr. Toigui. He was uh, concerned. He's gunning for your job. He's saying that, you know, there's no... Uh, a lack of police presence in the village and he wants to open up the the Koban over there in Talafofo. What is your response? And the well, need the police comes around here every hour on the hour, the night to Talafofo. But you know the governor the thing that lives down there, so they come here every now and then to inspect, you know, make a police patrol around the village even now and then. And also as part of the police Koban. We open up, but uh, due to lack of uh, police personnel, you know, again, we're shut down. Uh, he mentioned about a uh, police precinct. That's, uh, it's on the plan now to uh, build Southeastern Police Precinct here in Tal for sometime next year. So we're looking forward for that. What about uh, youth programs? He said that, you know, there's hardly anything down there for the youth. There are a lot of programs here. We got soccer team here. We got both team here. You know, baseball team. For, uh, you know, everything for the kids on summertime and in the evening. So I don't see where it's coming from. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Well, let's go to the stream here. There was somebody that asked a question about what was that street, Chris? Uh, Chalin uh, Ladera, I think. Uh, what do you think about paving that? Southern Canton Ladera, sir, is the, the, the one that mentioned extension of the main road there. It's about probably uh, 500 feet long, unpaved road. Mm. It's the main road is already paved, see? That's extension of the main road. How many residents you That's have? That's on the plan to get it paved. I see, so it's in the works. Uh, Mayor, we also had another There's comment. There's about uh, one, maybe, maybe five homes there. I see. We had another comment about the entrance to the Talafofo Cave and uh, the maintenance of that uh, area? The entrance of the cave, yeah? Yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's again, that's my property. We made the road there. I mean, as far as the, to go in there and clean the, the, the path, I think other thing is, you know, it's not my job to do that. But we still go up there and uh, clean the, you know, the branches and make it possible for the, you know, for the visitors to come. Right. Well, you have been mayor. It's not, it's not a big issue. You've been mayor for quite a, a long time. Yeah, how, uh, long? In how long? How <laughs> long? How long you been mayor, mayor? Well, actually, I've been mean, mayor now for twelve years. Okay. Huh? We're looking forward for another four years. Mm -hmm. and I, I, I say for my people that they will keep me, we will keep serving them. Mayor, well, so having go ahead, Bree. No, no, go ahead. I know we were going to ask the same question. Go ahead. But no, you. No, no you. I refuse. No. Nope. No, go. Go ahead. Yes. No, ladies first. Oh, now I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, Mayor. Don't mind us. <laughs> go ahead, Bree. No, go ahead. 
Not really. So All right, in your past. Yeah, All right, in the, in the I, past twelve I mean, years, time. you've been you've been the mayor. What would you say you are most proud of accomplishing? Well, for the last twelve years, we we're able to invest over uh, you know, ten million dollars of infrastructure improvement in Dal You know, right now we are we, right now we have ongoing project for the for the public social system to be installed. This service will give the. Uh, 220 homes, public school services. That's a big improvement. Another one is uh, GTA. It's currently installing a uh, fiber optic cable. This service will uh, you know, improve the communication in our village. That's a big project too. We're looking for, we're looking more, looking forward for more projects on something like this. Right, and Mayor. So now that Sabrina asked, what are you most proud of accomplishing in your 12 years as mayor? I want to ask, what do you want to accomplish if given another uh, few terms? What I want to accomplish, uh, on this, uh, what I'm looking for, sir, is the construction of the police, uh, south, south, southeast police precinct and the construction of the southern, the GFA soccer field. Those two major uh, improvements will actually improve the quality of life here in Talvo. So we're looking forward for that. Mm-hmm. But the limited, limited resources we have here, we're able to move things forward. So let's keep it away and uh, keep, keep things moving forward. If you could, uh, Mayor, what does it take uh, to be a mayor? Because I could tell you, you guys do a lot uh, it of takes, work. It takes a lot of work. Big skin, you know, because people criticize you left to right. You know, and I, I guess to be honest, every day I come out to work, I face 5,000 issues every day. So I have to solve this thing every day. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta learn how to pass by them and so on. But you gotta have to, you know, big heart. Because people come to you asking for donation, asking for to buy milk, to buy pampers for the kids because they have no money. So, you know, sometimes I have to use my own local resources to do all these things. Very challenging job. It's not an easy job. Uh, Mayor, can we ask uh, we, in the comments here, what about the three-way lookout area? Very dangerous. Is there anything we can do to improve safety in that area? And we're talking, I know you know the Talafofo Bay lookout. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know how many times because I go down in Iran a lot when I'm coming through there. We don't have any tourists now. Thank you. Much safer. But they just McGun it right through. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, Chris McGun. Especially when the tourists are here. Right. That's going to become very dangerous. Yeah. But uh, my plan is to, I'm requesting public works to install the uh, traffic lights. Maybe that might help, you know. But uh, public works got a function, so I'm pretty sure they'll, you know, do what they can do to make it safe. All right. Mayor, we have a couple uh, minutes here. Uh, do you want to go ahead and go into your uh, closing statement and tell us uh, why you think the people of Talafovo should vote uh, Mayor Tidegui in for another term? Well, before I close, Chris, I'd like to remind my people that uh, COVID-19 is here to stay. We're not immune from this disease. So please, you know, protect yourself, keep a distance, wear your mask, avoid crowd, maintain good hygiene, and stay home. So everybody will be safe and be happy. But like I said, COVID-19 is a very, very disease. And again, this evening, uh, this morning, I uh, asked my constituents to uh, please vote for me and uh, we'll continue the service that you've been getting for the last 12 years. More or less, maybe more, uh, maybe more, more, more improvement. And, uh, the change right now is not a good change. You know? So let's keep it that way and we'll keep delivering the service we, we, used to drive, we used to have. So it's not an easy job again, but I say we'll do our best to treat everybody the same. So again, please vote for me and to continue moving forward. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Thanks a lot, Mayor. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Okay, Esther. Thank you, sir. Okay. Take care. Wash your hands. There you go. The real mayor, uh, Mayor Vicente Tidegui of God's country. Um, you know, guys, there's a 